how to use the trim and cut tools in Splice. We had a few people ask us how to use the trim and cut tools in Splice in our last Splice tutorials. First I will show you what each of these are and then at the end some extra tips on how to make your life easier when using the trim and cut tools. First off, trim. Trimming a clip is like sculpting out of a log of wood. In its raw form it's a clunky chunk of material but within it lies a beautiful work of art. You need to trim away the excess to get to the good bits. In video, I call this finding the moment. A moment is usually only a few seconds long at most. If you have a 30 second clip and you only want a piece of it from the center, you need to trim back from the front and at the back to only leave the part you want. This is known as trimming. To trim, select the clip, tap on edit, and this will automatically take you to the trim tool as the first option in the next screen. First, preview the clip to see what part you want to keep. I'm going to keep this part over here just after the gentleman clears away from the frame. Simply drag and drop the blue bars away from the start to the point where he steps away. Then repeat the same from the back to leave only a small section. The trimmed away parts will be darkened out now. As you let go of the trim bar, the clip duration will recalculate to show you how long this new clip now is. Preview it again and see if it's right. You can always readjust if necessary. Once you've trimmed the clip down, you will see this option below to apply trim. My suggestion is to leave it as is without applying the trim. You can simply tap back and go back to your timeline. The reason is once you apply the trim, it's done. By not applying it, you can always go back later and adjust it more if you want to make it longer. Cut. The cut function in Splice is less like sculpting and more like carving a pumpkin. Now you will be leaving the outside intact and taking out the centerpiece. Let's look at the same clip from earlier. This time, when I tap to edit, I will go to the second option over here, cut. The little blue trim bars have adjusted to the center, revealing only a part of the start and at the end of the clip. After adjusting it, if I preview the clip, it'll be just like a, yes, you guessed it, a cut. I personally almost never use this tool because when you film a clip, the beginning and the end, that almost always need the trimming. Let's look at this clip as an example. If you wanted to keep these two sections, you would have to trim the clip then apply that trim so that it would stay, then open it again, and then cut it. It requires a two-step process that can be very time-consuming and tricky to get right. My solution to this will come in the next section. Tips for trimming in Splice. Rule number one, you have to keep your clips short. I have a whole video on this subject. In fact, we actually have a number of videos on the subject of keeping your clips short. It's quicker and easier to have five clips where only one of them is right and you just quickly delete the other four than trying to find that moment in one clip that lasts five minutes. You may notice that when the clips are long and you hold on the trim bar, it does a funny zoom in to help you trim more accurately. When your clips are long, like this 30 second piece, it can actually be really hard to keep it controlled. To avoid zooming in, you need to tap on the trim bar and move right away. If you hold on it for just a moment, then it will automatically zoom in. You can choose which one is better for you to use. But let's say you did film a long clip and you want two parts from it. How do we do this? Unfortunately, Splice does not come with a split function, like iMovie has, where you can quickly split one clip into two pieces. In Splice, you will need to duplicate the clip and trim each one individually. In app, you duplicate the clip by tapping on it and selecting this option under edit, duplicate. Now you can trim the first part to the piece that you would like. Go back and then trim the second part. My last tip, because you don't apply the trims, 
It does have a side effect and that is that the project becomes a lot bigger and takes a toll on your phone's memory. When you're done with your projects, make sure to delete them. This will free up space on your phone and prevent splice from lagging in the future. I hope this answers your questions. Thanks for watching TravelVids.tv mobile phone tutorials. Be sure to check out our website for the 20 tips on how to prepare for traveling with a smartphone with the purpose of capturing your vacation on video. Cheers. <laughs>